Hello, good evening everyone. I am yet uh, here again and I'm so excited. It has been a, it's a very, it, it was a very wonderful day for me. Marami ako nagawa and nakapagpahinga ako ng maayos. So, yan. So, before anything else, I am Coach Jurel. I am a certified life coach. I am a certified martial arts instructor. I am also a marine engineer by profession and I help people navigate through life and love through coaching services that includes responsible online dating. I am a scholar of Master Coach A for public speaking and this episode includes anti-metabolic. Yeah, so mukha siyang uh, metabolic rate ang tunog. <laughs> but tonight, <clears throat> but tonight's title is uh, The Illusion of Speed. Slow is fast. Have you encountered the phrase that slow is smooth, smooth is fast, and slow is fast? So if you have encountered that, do let me know in the comments. And it has its origins in the Navy, U.S. Navy SEALs. And actually, ginagamit din namin siya sa martial arts when when we teach people. Uh, or when we start teaching Kali to people. So, uh, Kali kasi is uh, a blade-oriented martial art. So, weapons-oriented martial arts. And of course, kung gagamit ka ng blade, gagamit ka ng weapons, that you have to be very careful and you have to be very deliberate on how you use it. So, one of our training methods or one of our our mentalities that we first give our students or the people who want to learn is the slow is smooth, Smooth is fast, so slow is fast. So, they have to do first everything in slow motion. Kailangan mabagal muna and later on they can just apply the speed. Yan. So, paano nga ba natin? Ano? Uh, how, how can we use that? When you are learning it in slow motion, napapansin nyo yung ano? Uh, you will notice that your movements are large. They are easily read, and you can feel the motion as you do it. Unlike pag mabilis siya, it's too quick for you to take in. Yan. So, how does learning in how does learning it in slow motion and nailing it in fast forward work? So, I'll use the same analogy for in martial in martial arts sports. Yan. Actually, in anything. Pwede applicable naman siya in anything. So, when you use or when you handle first the stick sa tinuturo namin, that all the movements should be slow, all the movements should be big, all the movements should be deliberate. Dahan-dahan. Yan. For example, like this. If we are using this, this is a live blade. Yan. So, para ano lang, just to make an example. Hindi naman namin to binibigay sa ano, sa students. Hindi namin sila pinapahawak ng live blade right away or anything live. Stick sila muna. Yan. It's the the lesson there is for them to to respect what they're holding. Just like if someone passes uh passes valuable knowledge to you, that you should be able to respect that level of knowledge that it can be used in any manner that you want it to be used. So, if that person is of questionable character, gagamitin niya yung sa hindi maganda. And, of course, the, the passage of knowledge or the passing of knowledge to someone, like, for example, in martial arts, because the knowledge can be damaging if done incorrectly. Not just to someone else, but first and foremost to you. Kaya, ganun kami nagtuturo. And, of course, I am also applying it into, into my coaching practice that the, the people that I help, we start slow first. Everything starts slow and I try to match their pace. Ayun. So, learning it in slow motion allows the people and allows the instructor first to see what movements need to be corrected. Because there are certain movements that if you do it quickly, it may hurt you. Hindi tama yung body placement. Uh, hindi hindi siya mindful kung paano babalik yung ano yung yung gamit niya and therefore tatamaan siya and the same time if you are learning something that if you use it too fast without actually mastering it masisira siya 
and the way that you use it will actually harm you so you have to learn it first in slow motion before you can nail it in fast forward so mamaya magpapakita ko ng example so how does speed mask ineptitude most people would associate fast movements with very with very masterful and very adept people magaling sabi na pag mabilis ang nagagawa magaling yan but in reality speed is just the byproduct speed should only be the byproduct let mastery be your vehicle for your skill and let speed be its byproduct why because if you let speed be the vehicle it doesn't necessarily mean that what you are doing is masterful hindi siya ano hindi siya pulido it's not polished it's just fast diba but if you let mastery be your vehicle and speed your byproduct so if you are masterful with what you do natural bibilis at bibilis ka you will become more proficient and speed masks that especially if impatient yung tao if they want to do it right away without even studying it for for uh, an amount of time sila, madidisgrasya sila so that is how speed masks ineptitude so you have to be deliberate in your mastery as well why? because what you are using what you are studying is something that may one day save your life and not just in the literal sense but in the financial emotional and mental sense so if you become deliberate in your mastery meaning that you take the time to see what's inside you take the time to learn all the components and how they interact and if you do take the time to practice it deliberately kailangan deliberately kailangan may intention ka because if it's not deliberate then you will you will not achieve any mastery later on so i will i'll present an example yan ha so this is a live blade yan for example this is a live blade so yan di ko na lang siya ulit na hasa So that means this can cut. This can cut. So, ito example natin. If I'm not careful with this, if I am not deliberate with my movements, masusugatan ako. So we can start first slow. Yan. Tapos pabilis lang pabilis. So, if, if nasundan nyo yun, <laughs> syempre, before I got to that stage, before I was able to make it really fast, before it was working for me, dahan-dahan ko yan. Actually, nag-gloves pa ako dati just to practice it. And that's why. This, this is the literal example of being deliberate in your mastery. And of course, the larger the weapon, the, any weapon, needs mastery so that you will prevent yourself from harming yourself. Hindi kayo masusugatan, hindi kayo madidisgrasya. And wala rin kayo madidisgrasya in that sense. So, remember that slow is fast. So, slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. So, slow is fast. But before anything else, let me just give this simple nugget to you that to be deliberate is to be masterful and it takes mastery to be deliberate from coach Jardiel yours truly so i hope that you've learned something for tonight because i'm always on the road to post one meaningful content a day para sa mga knife nuts natin dyan na nagtatanong tungkol dito sa aking ano sa aking knife this is a CRKT M1614 Zilek ayan po siya Yala. Yan. Ayan yung focus. Diba? Ilalagay ko na lang yan. <laughs> Ay, 
I think they faced it out here in the Philippines. Pwede naman kayo makakuha ano, elsewhere. So, yan. So, I hope you've learned something and hinaluan ka ng konting martial arts. So, if if you are curious about coaching, if you want to experience a magic of life coaching, or you want to be certified as a life coach, you may contact us at Life Coach Philippines at 0917-586-1661. That is through Coach Rizel at 0917-586-1661. But if you want to learn martial arts of Pikiti Tear Shakali, you may also PM me at mapag-uusapan natin ang arrangements. So I hope that you've learned something and if you want to watch my other lives, you may like, follow, and subscribe my YouTube channel. Nandyan yung link sa description. And if you have any comments, suggestions, violent reactions, <laughs> do let me know in the comments so that I can address them. So, ayan. I'll be seeing you again tomorrow. Good night. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. Stay cool. And stay safe always.